So, i-claim na namin yung SIM card na in-avail namin through Kluk. So, right at the arrival hall, i-claim lang namin yung SIM card na kinuha namin from Kluk. So, this is the SIM card that we got from Kluk. So, yung SIM card na nakuha namin for, uh, from Starhub, was actually just valid for seven days. Uh, we booked it from Kluk, and using our Kluk credits, it came down to around 64 pesos na lang. Uh, ginamit namin Kluk credits namin. So inclusive over the SIM card, it has uh, 100 gig of local data, 500 minutes local outgoing calls, 30 minutes IDD and 100 local SMS so uh, lalagay ko siya sa spare uh, cell phone na gamit namin uh, and use it as a um, tethering device para kumbaga uh, pocket wifi <laughs> so yun uh, kagamitin namin to on our uh, 5 day trip dito sa Singapore Okay, so I insert ko na yung SIM card dito sa uh, spare cell phone ko na magsisilbing uh, mobile hotspot namin. Uh, let's see kung gumagana yung startup SIM. So connections. Uh, going to mobile networks. And network operators. Ah, hindi pala dyan, actually. Sa SIM card manager. Sorry. So, ayan siya. Uh, SIM1 Starhub. So, gumagana siya. And, for tethering, I... So, inon ko na siya. And, let's see. Kung gumagana yung data niya. Uh, using Kugo. Tignan natin. Mabilis-bilis ang 4G ng... Uh, Starhub SIM card. Okay, let's see. Mukhang okay naman. And check natin yung sa website. So, let's go sa uh, check na lang natin ito. later. Mabilis naman ng 4G. Um, I can't say so uh, okay naman siya. I think magiging effective siya sa mobile hotspot sa ibang cellphone. So kanina uh, pinakita ko sa kanya yung 4G uh, connection ng SIM card na to and it works well naman. And showing you now is the mobile hotspot na kinunag ko sa cellphone ko uh, kanina kasi nakakonek ako sa Changi Wi-Fi so now I'm connected sa, sa cellphone na existing hotspot namin uh, it works well so in access from the arrival area punta lang dito sa may uh, ticket service center dito yung pila ng tourist pass and other passes for MRT. So, sa Singapore tourist pass, I may three types. One day, two day, and three day passes with uh, different amounts, 20, 26, and 30 dollars respectively. So, unlimited yung public transport travel dito. And, refundable siya yung deposit na ten dollars yung day pass twenty kaya kano ba gusto? So, ito yung $10, I mean, 3-day, $20, $30 pass. So, actually, I 
ano siya, uh, three days unlimited uh, transportation, both buses and trains. And the fourth day na wala na siya, pwede siyang gamitin as ordinary EasyLink card where you can put in stored value sa kanya. And then on the fifth day, you can return it and get the $10 refund. So, yun yung kagandahan ng pagkuha ng Singapore Tourist Pass. Then, just getting the EasyLink Pass if you're, you know, um, staying for more than three days.